Hey everybody, Gravy Train here with another episode of Gravy Training. So, with the event that just started today, they released the Plague Master Ortis skin. So, on top of the epic and the rework, he's now got a, an epic skin. It's a elite skin, whatever. So, the ability, uh, well, yeah, okay, so the ability on the, the skin is that enemies start the dungeon diseased. It cannot be cleansed or immune, that's worded poorly, but when Pontifex dies for the first time, disease diseases enemies again, ignores immunities to debuffs and disease. So... First of all, what does disease do? Um, so, if we go to... Because I know everybody likes to make fun of the stuff that I have in my other tabs. There we go. Um, so, let's go to the wiki. And let's go to game mechanics, status effects, and let's look at effects. And of course it's not here, it must be under debuffs, diseased. So, targets attack and amount healed are reduced by half. Crit chance rate is reduced to zero. Subsequent applications of the effect request or refreshes its duration. Blah blah blah. Other enemies with passives like Disease Bane deals three x damage towards disease targets. Capitalize on the diseased effects. Um. Da -da -da, Lords um Cobalt the Pestilent. Disease Bane. I'm going to have to figure out who has that. It's probably Cobalt. Let's see. Um, no. 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 All right, well, we'll have to see who gets Disease Bane. Uh, but anyhow, um... So yeah, so Lord Zom's undead passive increases damage upon being diseased, blah, blah, blah. So that is disease effect. That being red. So combine that with his epic, which is 30% chance to deal 2x lightning damage to all enemies, bonus damage versus armored targets, diseases, and marks all enemies with Gravedigger for three turns. There are some, some bugs around this right now, but overall it's working. So, long story short, this is a really cool epic, or a really cool skin. You're not going to be able to see it, because I have all of the stuff. You can tell I just depleted all of my ether. But it is 65,000 ether to purchase this skin. And yeah, I even had to go out and new portal poles to get some because i use so much of it lately for events <coughs> but so i wanted to kind of show off running some dungeons with a team based around this so the team itself and i will tell you pretty much i can go over the runes later but um if i remember but it's pretty much all attack on Shade, almost all attack on Ponty, almost all attack. I mean, I think it's like three attack, two defense on um, Cobol, and all attack on Shadowblade. Um, and this team is pretty nice. It hasn't been winning like every single battle, but I've done, I've won way more than I've lost. I mean, I've only done like six or eight battles, but so 
combining shades, um, protection from debuff for the first round, his shroud ability, with the fact that everybody starts diseased, and and all of that, and it is pretty nice. Even being silenced the first round, it's like meh, whatever, because you're gonna like kill. How many unbreakable heart ruins does he have? Come on, really? There we go. Um, and of course it took into the second round. And I'm talking and not paying attention. So, okay. So here we go. This is not a good example. I always do this. I always start with a friggin' scenario. I stop paying attention. And I end up losing. I've been beating dwarf teams just like this, so let's keep going. Same team. It's a little harder against Jin, but honestly, I could swap out SB for Craw. I've also swapped in. Um, oh, a Life Reaper. Uh, yeah, I can't remember his name right now. Been a long, crazy day. Uh, we are going to tap him. We're going to kill Kozar or Koros, and we're going to kill him. Yeah, that's right. Ponty just one-shotted somebody, and we're going to do this. And we're going to possess him, and we're going to do this, except it won't hurt Solaris. Matter of fact, it didn't hurt either of them. It's okay. <laughs> Notice there's no bodies left. And that's how you do it. Now, except for, I mean, well, I'm, I'm, I can't say that this is a team that just anybody can do because it does require a skin and it does require the epic, but just the rework on him at lower levels, this will do just fine. Um, even at like in the like late 60s, this should do fine. All right. We got a 79. It's only a three star gen, 5,400. I'm going to give it a try. Just to be safe, we will swap in Craw. I have Craw mixed two attack, three defense, I think. All right, so. I love the fact that Croc can lifelink, or that uh, Shade can lifelink Falcon now. <clears throat> Brig and Emily. Alright. Get some more um, foresight. Let's scare some people. Do we even fear them? Damn it. Yep, that just happened. <laughs> and the long dead hero came back. Let's try to kill. Oh, nope. It won't let me, but I can probably possess him. Uh, nobody is currently diseased, so we'll disease them again. Look at that. Dragon Cobalt. 15,000 point hit from Friggin' Ponty. 
Let's use some heal. A pretty nice heal. We gotta take out him. The shade hits like a truck. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. This Valken is tough. Damn it. That's irritating when you die because you can't kill one frickin' hero. It's gonna be one of those scenarios, isn't it? Where I can't stop him from friggin' healing. the damage. Oh, Alright, so that hit his unbreakable heart at least. Maybe this will do it. Come on, hit him. Frickin' A. Come oh, on. Oh my god. Irritating. Irritating. This is like a Solaris fight. Die, you bastard. How many hit points does this guy have? Four, seriously. Oh, I mean, I've got friggin' five stacks of of um whatever that is on here. All right, that's got to be the second friggin' unbreakable heart. Twenty-four thousand points of damage, and that wasn't enough to kill that jerk. <sighs> Try it this way around. enough. 30 stacks of foresight. 31 stacks of foresight. Like, really? <laughs> oh, boy. I gotta screenshot this. Uh, all right, let's try. Can I do enough damage? Am I going to have to run away? Oh, 
I gotta wait for a massive crit. This is nuts. Absolutely frigging nuts. See, I'm doing less damage. Less damage. Not more damage. keep this fight going or if I would finally oh there we go holy crap woohoo wow okay well if you manage to get your way through that battle <laughs> that was pretty friggin funny and frustrating as heck Oh, all right. <sighs> um, all right, sorry, I'm getting stuff in guild chat. Okay. This should be fine. Obviously, this team can hang. Even with Craw having to go toe to toe with Valken for like 30 rounds. <laughs> Let's get. Let's do some of this. Owie. Let's do this. one more battle and then we'll call it especially since that other one was the length of like five battles okay I love stealing the taunt and then forcing people to attack, and then it's lifelinked. Uh, let's see if I can one-shot Emily. And I can! Yes! Ponty is a friggin' stud now. Um, 
looking at other stuff, and of course missing this. Alright, well, anywho, um, you see what's possible. I'm tweaking stuff as I go. Um, but hey, anyhow, that's the skin. It's pretty friggin' awesome. Ponty is one of my new favorite heroes. I'm probably going to have to move him up to an A. I don't think he's quite an S. A, B with the skin. He's an S, but he's, he's not one of those heroes you absolutely must have. So I'll probably leave him at an A. And yeah, I'll make that adjustment here shortly. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It helps. And a thumbs up would be absolutely awesome. I appreciate you guys so much. Wouldn't be here without you. Thanks, everybody.